I began studying the making of the first atomic bomb during the fall of 2003. There is a stale idiom that I love overusing, a can of worms. If you say that someone is opening a can of worms, you are warning them they are planning to do or talk about something which is much more complicated, unpleasant, or difficult than they realize and which might be better left alone. What can be more complicated, unpleasant, or difficult than that octopus of history we named World War II? I use this soft-bodied, eight-limbed mollusk as a metaphor because I see its arms as the uncountable number of consequences stemming from World War II. Recollections of the war crimes, fire bombings, military casualties, and collateral damage come at me like the frenetic limbs of the starved. There is a story I find so unbelievable that I compare it to a fable by Aesop or a nursery rhyme by Mother Goose. In 1941, the Imperial Japanese Army drafted a 26-year-old tailor. The Army taught soldiers that surrender was the worst fate, and the tailor and two of his comrades fled to the jungle when U.S. forces invaded Japanese-occupied Guam in 1944. They dug a cave near a waterfall, covered it with bamboo and reeds, and survived by eating small animals, fruits, and nuts. The tailor outlived and buried his colleagues, and two hunters eventually discovered him in 1972. We can misinterpret this soldier's plight as a folkloric fable because we later learned that he was not aware the war had ended. It is impossible to become that isolated, right?